Howdy folks, welcome back to another episode of Kazoo Fridays in July. And by the way, I went ahead and made a playlist uh, since I've got this series going on. They're all in one location now. I'll go ahead and link that in the description if you're curious about kazoo related videos, but I'm having a lot of fun making these. And this week, I wanna show off a really cool kazoo. It's right here, it's very unique and it's extra special because I made this one myself, or I guess I built it from a kit, might be more accurate, but here it is, very cool. This is one of the kazoo kits from Black Owl Guitars. And I just wanna talk a little bit about that before I tell you about the kit. Um, so I was just kind of looking around. I was like, I wonder if anybody makes a DIY kazoo kit. And I found this on Etsy. I found this Black Owl kazoo kit. And I was like, oh, cool. So I just bought one. Hey, ordered it, wait for it to show up. Then I started actually looking at some of their stuff and um, they sell cigar box guitars and homemade kazoos. And they've got some really beautiful kazoo designs. I mean, different than anything I've ever seen. So I start looking a little more and find out these folks have a YouTube page. And so I start go down their YouTube rabbit hole and they just seem like a really cool couple. It's uh, I think their names are David and Lori, if I remember right, but husband wife team just seem like cool people reminded me a lot of, of me and my wife. So anyway, um, they didn't give me any money. They didn't send the kit for free or anything. There's no reason I need to plug them other than strictly. I think they are a very cool group of people. So anyway, that's black owl guitars. But what happens is you buy this little kit it's 15 bucks and you get, um, all the stuff in the mail and it's got four pieces of wood the two sides the top and the bottom Or I guess five pieces of wood because you also get the little owl shaped uh, retainer here so It's got these pieces of wood in there. Um, it's all raw wood You got to finish it yourself and then it's got a screw and then a little um, Diaphragm here. So what you do is you clamp it together you glue it all up and you get your kazoo going on you let it dry and uh Mine, the, the wood was not, the wood pieces were not all quite the same length, they were close. But so after I glued it, I lined up everything on this end and this end was, you know, was off. So I just, you know, cut like a quarter inch off or whatever it was to make it nice and even. And then I went to town with the sandpaper and it actually includes a piece of sandpaper in the kit. But of course I, you know, you guys know I've got plenty of tools. So I went ahead and I rounded it all out. So you can just kind of see here, I rounded around the edges and gave it a little uh, contour and it really started to look like a kazoo. Um, then this piece is a different type of wood than the kazoo itself. So I just used a little Danish oil on that to kind of draw out the natural tones of the wood. And another cool thing that they do is the diaphragm, they include it, but they say that their diaphragm is exactly the size of a nickel. So anything that you can trace a nickel on, you can use. So if you want to use receipt paper or a candy wrapper or anything like that, so you can try out a whole bunch of things. So that might be a future video. I might just try out a whole bunch of different diaphragms to see what they sound like. But um, anyway, so you put this whole thing together and then you finish it yourself. So I went ahead and put uh, like an oak kind of stain on it. And then um, I used my, I used guitar toner to actually put like a very light sunburst on it. So you can see there and it's nice and transparent, which is one of the wonderful things about toner is it doesn't cover the grain. So you can still see the grain all the way through there. And it just really came out nice. Of course, I gave it a nice uh, couple coats of clear coat, uh, sand 800 grit in between, of course. And it just came out really, really great. And um, so I'm really happy with this way, the way this thing came out and the way it looks. And it's just a neat little kit and A plus again to uh, Black Owl Guitars. And I guess you guys probably want to hear it, right? I mean, it is, it is an instrument, you should probably hear it. So uh, let's give this one a shot. See you guys next Friday. 